Yo, what is good, Knicks Nation? Welcome back to Knicks Media. This is Richie, and man, oh man, it feels good that the New York Knicks is officially back. They just went out there and destroyed the Detroit Pistons in their preseason opener. And in this video, I want to give you guys my thoughts of the Knicks preseason game number one of the 2022-23 season. We see RJ Barrett, Jalen Brunson making their season debuts. Jalen Brunson looks so good in this game. RJ Barrett, your number four, looked great. Pretty much everything looked good for the New York Knicks tonight, and I'm so excited to break down everything I saw in tonight's game. Before you hop into the video, I just want to mention, if you guys are new to Knicks media, make sure you hit that subscribe button. I got a lot of Knicks content coming your way all throughout the regular season, and hopefully heading into the postseason. And we'll get into that, of course, the more we talk about this uh, team before we get into the season. And if you guys enjoy the video, do not forget to thumbs it up. And also, feel free to comment down below your thoughts of the New York Knicks victory over the Detroit Pistons in the preseason opener. With that being said, let's get right into the video. So first and foremost, let's talk about how this team played together. Because obviously, there's a new face in the building, and that's Jalen Brunson. So there's going to feel have a, have a new feel to this team, especially in that starting lineup. So the starting five tonight was Jalen Brunson, Evan Fournier, RJ Barrett, Julius Randle, and Mitchell Robinson. The guys that were injured are Quentin Grimes and Jericho Sims. And unfortunately, we had an injury tonight, which was Cam Reddish, who left with a sprained ankle, who did not return. Really unfortunate stuff for Cam Reddish, because this is a really good opportunity for Cam Reddish to prove to the coaching staff to be in the rotation, to prove to the coaching staff that he can be part of this team for the whole season. Because as we all know, the bench is crowded right now and it's a great problem to have I mean we are so deep because there's another guy on this team that f absolutely had a phenomenal game who's not going to be part of the rotation that I think needs to be part of the rotation that's Deuce McBride he had like seven steals he looks so good so the Knicks are really deep and that's the biggest takeaway I have from tonight's game is that we have so many guys on this team to look forward to watching play basketball we're young we're fast everybody's in shape shout out D Rose losing like 20 pounds in the offseason looking so like a different player physically we all know where D Rose's mind is at. He's just on another planet. He's just so good and in tune with his body and just looks like he is just looking great at 34 years old and just really positive signs all around. And I know it's just preseason and we don't want to get overexcited. We know last year the Knicks final preseason game Julius Randle hits a buzzer beater we're all going into the season with high hopes but at the same time you know Knicks basketball is back we're allowed to be excited don't let anybody tell you to don't be excited about this Knicks team going out there and destroying the Detroit Pistons on our home floor of Madison Square Garden just because it's preseason we saw the debut of the big three the lucky lefties, R.J. Barrett, Jalen Brunson, and Julius Randle, they all had really good days. So let's start off with that. R.J. Barrett in his first game of year number four in the preseason, 22 minutes of action, and put up 21 points, five boards, two assists, eight of 14 from the field, three of five from downtown, and a plus minus of a plus 23. R.J. Barrett in the offseason said that he is going to be working on his free throws, finishing at the basket, and a shot off the dribble. You saw that tonight. R.J. Barrett looks like a player that he looked like he grew, and he said he's around six foot seven, I believe, which is pretty crazy stuff. R.J. Barrett is just going to look like a completely different player this year because I think the biggest key to R.J. Barrett's uh, development in year number four is... Can he be consistent? Because we know that R.J. Barrett throughout the first three years as a New York Knick, he starts off the year very slow, and then he gets into rhythm at, by the New Year's, which is really interesting. So can R.J. Barrett start off the year strong, and can he be consistent throughout a whole 82-game stretch? Because we saw tonight in only 22 minutes of action, he looked like he was in, in, um, in control of this game. And to be honest, early on in the game, he was not getting any looks. Brunson was holding on to the ball. Even Fournier and Randall, like, I was like, yo, all right, let's see R.J. get some looks in like five minutes into the game I don't think RJ had a jump shot and then finally he got the ball in his hands and we saw him do RJ Barrett things driving to the cup finishing through the paint uh hitting his three pointers he had a really great play where you like sidestepped on Cade Cunningham on the baseline and somehow just underhooked it and scooped it in for the layup uh he looked really good man I'm so excited to see what RJ Barrett's going to be doing in year number four and now we got to talk about the Knicks debut of Jalen Brunson he looks good everybody Jalen Brunson looks good I mean the presence of Jalen Brunson on the court makes me feel so comfortable with this team because he just feels so calm, cool, collected. He's very poised. Like, he feels like a veteran quarterback out there, just, like, knows what to do. And it's not like he's a super old veteran, like, for example, D. Rose, who's, you know, 34 years old. Jalen Brunson is 25 years old, and he still has that presence to him where he just goes into the paint. He's so patient with the ball. He's just keeping his footwork, keeping his pivot foot, just going, mm, mm. And he just is so efficient when he gets into the paint. 
And finishing with five assists is really impressive to me as well because I feel like Jalen Brunson putting up 16 points on seven or nine from the field, two of four from downtown in just 19 minutes shows you that he's going to be a very highly efficient player for this Knicks team. And we actually have a point guard. Like, whoa, Knicks fans, we have a point guard. This is going to be the best Knicks point guard we've had in so long. And I don't think we understand how important that is to this team because his presence on the court really made me feel like it's going to take pressure off of R.J. Barrett. It's going to take pressure off of Julius Randle, not feeling like he has to be the hero all the time because newsflash, Julius Randle, we don't need you to be the hero. <laughs> Please. And uh, Brunson really impressed me, man. He really looks like a guy that, you know, there's a lot of, you know, people questioning the move of the Knicks, bringing in Jalen Brunson for that lucrative contract, and there's going to be headlines about it, and there's going to be pressure on Jalen Brunson to live up to the hype. But in the first preseason game, man, I know it's just a preseason, but he looks very good out there in a Knicks uniform, and he really, like, matches the Knicks energy. And I feel like the Knicks fan base is going to fall in love with him the more he plays with the Knicks. And then Julius Randle, he put up 15 points, 4 dimes, 6 rebounds, 6 of 10 from the field, 2 of 4 from downtown. He started off slow. He definitely did not look good to start out. He kind of looked like the same player from last year. I was getting a little concerned. I was watching the game with my dad, and my dad's like, how come I, every time I watch these Knicks, Randle looks like the worst player on the court? And I'm like, like, I don't know, Dad. But listen, Julius Randle did not have that bad of a game. He got cooking in the second quarter, in the beginning of that third quarter, uh, and he finished off and really got into rhythm. Uh, but there's no doubt in the first portion of the game, he looked a little sporadic with the ball. He was trying to over-dribble at times. But I really feel like Randle has a really good opportunity here with this Knicks team. With the addition of Jalen Brunson, it's going to calm things down. Randle does not have to worry about being the primary ball handler every other possession. We have three guys that can handle the rock, and they're all lefties, ironically. So I really feel like Randall is going to have a, a good season this year because we don't need to expect, or should I say, Randall doesn't need to feel like he has to do everything. He doesn't need to take over and be the point forward. He can go down low. He can bully people down low because I know Julius Randall can do that. I got all the confidence in the world for Randall to do that. He needs to make the right decisions with the ball, not turn it over, and I feel like Randall had a good game today, especially, you know, look at the stats. The, the stats don't lie. 15 points, six boards, four dimes, and a plus minus of a plus 18 and an efficient night six of ten two for four from downtown so shout out julius Randle in his Knicks debut this season mitchell robinson oh my gosh shout out mitchell robinson being extended 17 minutes six points four boards three of three from the field three blocks and a steal he was all over the place in the paint just absolutely making his presence felt i mean three blocks in 17 minutes i feel like he got those three blocks in a span of like five minutes it was crazy it was like a block party so shout out mitchell robinson he looks like he's in phenomenal shape and I cannot wait to see what Mitch does in this season after the Knicks gave him that big-time contract extension, which I'm so excited about. Emmanuel quickly off the bench with 20 minutes, 13 points, 3 dimes, 3 rebounds, 5 of 11 from the field, and 3 steals. Quickly is really, you know, he's an X-factor this season, low-key for me, because I feel like he could be that spark plug off the bench. Um, if he can really play the way he did to finish off the season last year, all year this season, we got a really good player. And I feel like it's going to be hard for Quickly to do that because remember last year at the end of the season, there was a lot of injuries. So it gave Quickly an opportunity to be the guy. Like he was playing 30 plus minutes. He put up a 30 point triple double, him and Obi Toppin running the show. So I really hope that Tom Thibodeau gives Emmanuel Quickly the time this year because I do not want to see him coming off the bench and not playing a lot of minutes. But I'm not concerned about that at all. I'm just really excited to see Emmanuel Quickly because what really impressed me from Quickly tonight is driving to the paint finishing through contact of floaters in the paint and one at the cup like he wasn't settling for jump shots he's attacking the paint which i really love obi toppin you know that right when he comes in he has a highlight dunk boom dunks on you 21 points eight points six boards three assists uh the one thing i noticed from obi is jump shot definitely does not look good tonight um i'm not expecting that to be a consistent theme all year long but the athleticism is still there the energy is still there everything about obi toppin looks good besides the jump shot and then outside of the players I have listed here, we got to talk about Deuce McBride real, real quick. Seven points, four boards, two assists, six steals. Absolutely unreal for Miles McBride. Um, and then off the bench as well, we saw Isaiah Hardenstein. Isaiah Hardenstein looks really good, guys. In his Knicks debut, I feel like he's going to be a fan favorite. He had eight points, seven boards, a dime, three of five from downtown. Uh, three for five from the field, two of three from downtown with two steals. 
and a plus minus of a plus eight. I feel like Isaiah Hardenstein is that perfect stretch big off the bench for the Knicks that we've been looking forward to for so long. D Rose only had five minutes of action in his first game in a long time since December. He had in five minutes of action, he had a three pointer, one rebound, and one assist. And then Cam Reddish in his 10 minutes before he got injured, he only had three points and he hit his first shot and then he missed his next five shots. Really disappointing to see uh, Cam Reddish go down there. Um, so yeah, guys, that's really my biggest takeaways from the Knicks' first preseason game. Let me know your thoughts down below in the comments section. Definitely good news that the Knicks are back. It feels so good. Expect Knicks content on Knicks media throughout the entire season. Please do, not, please do me a favor and hit that like button on your way out of the video. It really does help out the channel. And please don't forget to comment down below your thoughts of this game. And let me know if you stayed until the end of the video with a Statue of Liberty emoji. So that does it for this video, guys. Let's go Knicks. And I'll catch you guys in my next one. Peace out, baby. Let's go Knicks.